How is it going everybody Mr Android here welcome back to a brand new video on this channel guys whenever i purchase a new phone one of the main priorities for me is how good the software experience i get on that specific phone trust me it's the most important thing for me while using any android smartphone so with that said in today's video i have got this flagship device from vivo which is the x200 pro and what makes it unique from other vivo devices is that instead of fun touch os it is running the origin os 5 based on android 15 since this is a chinese variant i was able to try one of the most underrated android skins which has loads of interesting features and customization that is really difficult to find on other android phones so i am really excited to share with you all the unique exclusive origin os features that i think will provide you with one of the best software experiences you can get on any smartphone So stay tuned and watch this video until the very end. Also if you love watching videos on different Android UIs then don't forget to subscribe to this channel and smash that like button. It would mean a lot to me. Now let's get right into the video. All right guys. First things first, if you look at my home screen, it might look very similar to the other Android phones, but when I just pinch with my two fingers, here is where we get some interesting features. We have got the app and kit section where we can find different types of widgets which are basically called kits in the Origin OS 5 and there are many cool looking widgets available here which you won't be able to find in the global version but what i really liked is this option called mood cube if i tap on it here we get a lot of customization features which we can directly access from the home screen itself you can change the wallpaper style and add different effects you can give a monochromatic look to your home screen add some blur and there is this option called sky which will add some cool effects to your wallpaper depending on the weather outside next we have the option to customize the icon style there are two different styles you can choose from and you can even change the app icon color to match your current wallpaper i actually like how beautiful the themed icons look on the origin os and the best part is you can see all the changes in real time then there is an option to increase or decrease the icon size and below we get the option to choose different themes and wallpaper next if i swipe left Here we have more customization features. Not only it lets you change the accent color depending on the wallpaper you have applied to your home screen, but we can also adjust the corner radius to make it more rounded or squarish depending on your requirements. And this change gets applied to the control center, settings icon, system apps and all throughout the interface. Even if I open the recent page, you can see how rounded it looks. So you can customize and change the shape of each and every element with just a single click. Inside the recent page, you get the option to change the layout. You can switch to grid view to see more applications at once, and the transition you get when switching between different views is extremely smooth as well. Origin OS also lets you enlarge folders, and unlike other Android skins, it even allows you to resize the folders as per your need. The best part is you can change and resize them to perfectly match your home screen layout. Not only that, if I long press on any folder, here I can change the folder color which is a great thing, but when I go into the folder settings, I can enlarge the folder further to fit more applications in a single folder, and you can even add some of your widgets inside the folder, which is again something really unique. So you can keep all of your most viewed widgets in one folder along with your favorite applications. Next up let's talk about the control center. As you can see everything looks more rounded here, but if you want, you can change these toggles by simply going inside the mood cube. You can swipe left and easily adjust the rounded corner. This gets applied directly to the control center. Apart from this, if I click on the edit icon, then go into customization. Here we have some additional options related to the quick panel. You can customize the layout enable or disable the lock screen control center and below we get theme style options where you can further customize the control center there are different themes available here we have the black and white theme blue and green red and blue and more so just for the quick panel you get a lot of customizations in the origin os and all these actually look really good in my opinion next in the home screen there is one more unique feature i wanted to show you if i just pinch with my two fingers we have something called as interaction bar right next to the mood cube When I click on it, now I can configure all these gestures on four sides directly from here. For example, if I just tap on the right side, by default it is set as back gesture, but I can configure that to open the media player. Once done, now whenever I swipe from the right side, it opens the media player. So I can use the left side to go back and by swiping from the right, it opens the media player for me. Like this, I can configure and change all these gestures as per my requirement. Now if I go into phone settings, 
Select home screen and lock screen wallpapers. Here we have all the customization beautifully laid out in this main screen. And if I tap on lock screen, Origin OS not only allows you to edit the lock screen with different clock faces, you can enable or disable the depth effect. And we also get this decorative tab, which lets you completely redesign the lock screen with different frames and designs. But what's cool here is when you go back and select system style, there are two options here. The first one is the light cover, but when I select this origin style lock screen, it totally changes my lock screen with a beautiful clock at the top and below you get this card style layout with different shortcuts, music player and more. You can change these shortcuts as per your need and it even allows you to adjust the background transparency as well. Finally, if I tap on apply, I get this new looking lock screen with a cool fingerprint animation and I just need to drag and drop the shortcut like this to directly open my favorite application. Guys, you don't need to install any third party app on your phone. You get all these customizations right inside your phone settings and I just love this transition. It just looks absolutely stunning. Next in the customization page, when you click on dynamic effects, here you can further tweak the animations and motion blur. For example, if you want to add background blur when opening and closing applications, I just need to enable this toggle. Similarly, if I go into home screen transition animation, I can customize the app opening and closing animation. There is an option to change the transition effect when unlocking the phone. Not only that, you can also configure the screen on and off animations. And they've also added a bunch of cool charging animations which come built in inside your phone. Guys, trust me, Origin OS has so many customization features and many of these you won't find on other Android skins. Finally, there is a feature called Origin Island that works exactly like the Dynamic Island feature which is present on iOS. So when you do voice recordings, set a timer or play any music on your phone, it goes right into the punch hole from where you can easily control and manage all your background tasks. Now despite having all these customization features, Origin OS feels really really smooth with some beautiful animations. Whenever I open and close applications, go to the recent page, opening the quick settings panel, opening widgets and then going back to the home screen, everything feels buttery smooth and fluid on this phone which is running on Origin OS 5. Guys, I'm planning to make a separate video comparing these animations with the other Android skins, so stay tuned for that. With that said, these are all the amazing customization features that we get in Origin OS running on my Vivo X200 Pro. I think Vivo should bring some of these features to the FunTouch OS as well. But as of now, I would say Origin OS is miles ahead compared to the FunTouch OS and it is one of the most customizable Android skins I have used in the recent times. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys like this video, then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I am Mr. Android and I will see you guys in the next one.